Spencer, a point on the road at Maidstone United could have been all three. What are you feeling after the game? 92 minutes of almost the perfect away performance. Um, I don't think they've really had an attempt on goal in 92 minutes and eventually they wore us down. It's a poor goal from our perspectives. There's a, there's a big claim for offside as well. We need to look at it. And we're just, we're gutted at, you know, I think we've stuck to the game plan. The players have been fantastic. We've had a couple of sniffs in the first half, had the best chance of the first half. With Taylor, I got a bit lucky with the penalty. Obviously it is a penalty. I don't know what their keeper's doing, but. And then we had, Ricky had a good half chance. And we had a free kick right on the edge of the box, which got deflected and you just couldn't see them scoring. And, you know, a couple of lads have switched off uh, due to tiredness, I think a lot of it. And they've scored. And then you've had a whole game in, in six minutes where, quite frankly, it was like the Alamo and uh, Jack's made one great save. He's only made one save in the game, I think. Uh, and that was it. That was a great save. And bodies are on the line and everyone's exhausted. And in that last six minutes, it would have been an absolute travesty if we hadn't got what, we're, at the very least, we deserved. But we were tired from about the 70th minute. You could see people going down. It's, it's a very dead pitch here. They're replacing it and it's exhausting. And, as I said, we, we could have seen it out slightly better, We were, but we got to 92 minutes and, as I said, so close to the perfect away performance against a side that's just won their last seven. Um, I've conceded one goal in seven games, you know, so, you know, but that last six minutes felt like an eternity. I know a ref added then another two minutes on, which I thought was ridiculous, but, you know, and we hung on and we got the, the, the absolute minimum we deserve, because quite frankly, I think Mason have had eight minutes of the game and uh, we've done a really good job, worked really hard, stuck to the game plan, some really good performances. I thought the, uh, the back three was superb uh, and uh, you know, Aaron Cole coming in midfield was magnificent and yeah, so close but so far. So uh, right now I'm incredibly frustrated. Uh, when they scored, I said to my bench, I'll take the point now. Uh, and it was, it was the Alamo. So uh, it, it's sort of mixed emotions. Uh, you would take a point against a team that's won seven straight um, but we came so close to breaking that away duck it feels very frustrating and there's some very angry players in there I didn't feel that we didn't do enough to stop the goal but then as I said uh, you know we've uh, we've hung on and got at the, the very least we deserved and positive to take today the penalty going in great to see it go into the back of the net yep, I was on one leg looking in a different direction so that's <laughs> what's happening on the next one and I wish I was joking but I wasn't um, have to do yeah, it again <laughs> um, I will be doing it again and look We've, I've now nominated exactly who's to take them. I don't care who's won them, um, unless there's an injury. So we have to score penalties. It's you know it's crucial, especially away from home like this. You know, and as I said, we, we had the best chance of the first half. Taylor threw uh, on the edge of the box, a uh, good con up play. But we, we were exhausted. You could see that Ricky's absolutely in bits. Uh, this this is a really hard pitch to play on, and uh, you know they get the advantage of almost being full time, and they, they play on it and train on it, and it told in the end because they had so many people up front, but. We didn't really look after the ball well enough in that last 10 minutes and eventually it told and, you know, very frustrating, but uh, yeah, a, a really good shift by everybody. And just a word on the new arrivals, Eden and Aaron this week. Well, uh, a lot of people know about Aaron Cool. I think he's a fabulous player, he lives in Farnborough. I've been trying to get him on and off for years and, and I thought generally he was fantastic. It's always difficult to come straight into the side. I thought he really, really played very, very well. I said, this is a really tough place to come. And, and not a lot of people know about Eden, even though he was at Slough before he got his move to Brentford, but I thought, quite frankly, he was magnificent. So anyone who had their doubts about who is he, you know, I think he started 21 games in League Two last year for Hartlepool. I know they had a difficult season and, look, I thought he might be a little bit ring rusty because he hasn't played much recently, but I thought it was great. And let's not forget, you know, Captain Fantastic, you know, Mr. Farnborough. Um, I pulled him back, he ummed and about it because he's enjoying himself at Hartley. I thought it was fantastic. You know, um, this is you know really tough, and you know he he doesn't like four Gs, three Gs. He doesn't like it at all, and it really takes a lot out of him. He's, he's he'll be in bits, and you know he answered the call, and and just um, you, know, you can talk, you can't stop the, uh, the the praise and quality for for that young man for what he's done for this football club, and you know absolutely magnificent today. Because you know Robbo picked up the fifth card. We tried to keep that quiet, which is why we set them up on the long throws. But Robbo was suspended. Obviously, you've got Sid out, you've got Jordan still out, you've got obviously parts that we sent out at the time. Henry was recalled, so we, you know it was a real. What are we going to do in defence? I've been really busy this week, and as I said, I thought we we stifled them all the way through. Um, and I said 92 minutes of, of real perfection. Uh, obviously, would have liked the second goal, and they get it, and, and then you're grateful to get the point because that would have been uh, very, very hard to take. So, really pleased with both the new lads.
and just your thoughts on the two departures this week, uh, Henry well, and Dan? Well, Henry, you know, he played, he got his first game back after an injury and they need him, they need him. Um, so I got, I got the messages from QPR, sadly they need him, he's their player, so, you know, no problem, he would have obviously been playing weeks ago if he hadn't got injured. So he got recalled, hence we had to jump into panic stations. And Dan Gifford's a very difficult one. Um, not really my ultimate decision, you know, we'd like to keep young players but we also understand they want to play and they need to be in squads and you know we need experience and this is the toughest this division's ever been. We've we've received a fee and we've got a big sell-on clause. Um, yeah. In an ideal world you keep them and it'll probably come back and bite me but at the end of the day we have a squad to balance, we've got a number of people injured that will be available, we've got finances to balance and you know we've protected ourselves and he's a young man that's you know coming up the levels and at the end of the day the decision was made and, and, and he's been sold you know ultimately you know we're not a club you know that can afford to keep lots of people for the future or loan them up when they don't want to be loaned and they want to go permanently so tough on that really really tough decision what to do on that um, but we certainly wish him all the very best you know he's a lad on, on, on the up he's a young lad um, but he's got to learn these levels it's tough as you see today you know these guys I mean just look at the size of Maidstone it was uh, you know, one of their lads, you know, wasn't six foot three, you were shocked. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a tough learning experience. So, we, you know, we wish Dan and Bogner all the very best. They acted totally honourably. Um, as I said, I would have liked to have kept him, but sometimes things aren't to be. Uh, and uh, I'm sure he's got a great future ahead. And two home games next week, starting with the visit of Tunbridge Angels on Tuesday. What type of selection headache do you have for that game? Well, first and foremost, this has been totally exhausting. And that, that's what I've said to the players. They, they've got to be really honest. This, this, this was a real shift. Uh, Tunbridge had a fantastic win today. Um, they, had a, they, they should have really won at Weymouth last week and played with 10 men for most of the game. So they're on the way back. They've got some great players. Every game is difficult. Obviously, we're unbeaten at home. Um, let's, let's, let's embrace that, let's get the fans there, two home games. But it is a case of who's fit, who feels right. Um, you know, we're really close, you know, we're really close. The, the home performances have generally been decent. I don't think they've been amazing, but decent. The away performances really haven't been bad. I think, we're, I think that's one defeat in eight. Um, we're a strong side and we're close and wow, today we were really close. So, and against one of the best sides in the league and look at this incredible place. we have been so well looked after and we, we managed to quieten that. Well, I don't know how many people were here, but it was in the thousands. Uh, we quietened them for the, the vast majority of that game, but that six minutes did feel a lot longer. And you know, we've got to get everyone down there on Tuesday and then on Saturday because every game is tough. Tunbridge, fantastic win against I think Bath was second today, and they've beaten them. So every game is tough, small margins, and uh, we know we're very close. We've got some great players. Um, everyone's buzzing about the place, and we're, we're coming away actually tinged with disappointment today. And we, we look forward to our home game. So it's another game. Uh, looking forward to it, get everybody down, tell everybody about us. You know, we're a really, really fantastic club and we look forward to two home games this week. Brilliant. Thanks, Spencer, and good luck for next week. Thanks a lot, Dom.